cancers welcome to your love letter for the week this is what your crush wants to tell you what you want to tell your crush figure out where you are in the storyline all right let's see what's going on with the cancer collective what does your crush want to say do that do that do do that 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 that's what i'm getting <laughs> i don't know why all right I'm getting Darren, okay? Somebody's name might be Darren or somebody is feeling daring. All right, um, let's see. The first thing I saw here was do. That's why I sung do that, do that, do that, 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 that. okay? Um, I'm getting this energy of, it's kind of a smooth energy is what I'm getting. It's like that song, I'm cool like that. I'm chill like that. I vibe like that. And I be like that. And I... You know, I don't, I don't know the words, but with that baseline underneath, like it's just a very smooth energy that they're bringing to the table right now. Um, smooth waters is what they, what they want to bring to the energy. It's like very chill. Like, dude, we're chilling, man. Let's just surf, bro. Like that's the energy. Somebody just wants it to be easy going, easy going, this person. They want it to be smooth sailing. They don't want no ripples in the water. They they just want peace. They just want peace. See, we have tea coming out. And even teal, like the color of like, well, that could be like the color, well, just blue waters, okay? Bluish green waters, right? Uh, this person just wants easy, calm emotions. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. Um, they don't need any extra type of hustle and bustle in their life okay they are looking for peace they are looking for calm with the dear energy coming through even me like talking now i just want to calm down uh this person might have a calming energy or they might find you to have a calming energy all right but this is what they like I'm getting this energy of being on a boat. Being on a boat is something with water with this person. Or they might have a very cool, calm, and collected energy where they have a great handle on their emotions. We have hole coming through. Why is that coming through? Roll. Okay. Um, okay. He roll. <laughs> man roll. He man roll. Okay. Um yeah all right so this person they want it they want to keep things simple all right it's like i i want to just enjoy the simple things you know what your role is in this situation i know what my role is in this situation and that'll just make things way easier to be smooth sailing if we have clear expectations and with role it's not necessarily traditional it could be whatever you guys set up i feel like they're open to the communication but they just want there to be clear expectations of what both parties should be providing because they feel like that is a bulk of issues typically uh, that's just that's where they're coming in at okay that's, that's how they're coming in. They have this concept, and I don't think it's completely false. I don't think it's false at all. You know, uh, I think a lot of people come in with expecting their spouse to read their minds, right? It's, instead of saying, hey, I want to be, I want it like that, you know, or I like when this happens, or this is my love language. It's like, this person is just very simple. If you like flowers, okay. You want, you want flowers every week? All right, well, that's what I'm going to do. That's going to be a part of my role now, Okay. Okay, so if you cook, okay, so you're going to cook? All right, well, then I'll wash the dishes, right? This person is fair. They're fair. Their balance is given very, very mature, emotionally mature energy. This is lovely. They just, they just want to keep it peaceful. That's all. Um, if the roles change, then let's talk about it, all right? Let's have that communication. Open communication is very big for this person to keep the emotional waters smooth. So you see I'm getting fins here. This person is, is something about the water here. Um, maybe this person likes to be on the water. Maybe they like to, uh, as I say, like to fly. Maybe they like to um, swim or maybe they like to be on boats, whatever the case is. What else do we have here? Oh. 
<clears throat> this person might be a smoker okay um i'm getting sativa all right um i also got zan somewhere over here so this person actually might this this chill vibe they might actually do things to keep the vibe chill okay which is another conversation but this person might have medication to actually be calm because i also have this energy of like because what i want to say when i was talking about emotions keeping the emotions calm i wanted to say keep the emotions at bay that's what i wanted to say which is another term for another like um reference to water um keeping things at bay right they don't want any drama um and they just really protect their peace but i also feel like they enhance their peace by either smoking and or some type of um, medication okay All right. I feel like this person has more passion than they give off, though. I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like this person is a bit more um, excitable than, the, than what they're giving off. Um, but they just don't like where their emotions take them. And so that's why they do this, to stay calm. That's what I'm getting, you know. What is going on here? I feel like, okay, this person, they just want to focus on making each other happy. Something about the water, getting this money, okay? Um, yeah, all right, cool. Good. They want to live a quiet, they, they enjoy the quiet. They enjoy the quiet life. Yeah, I feel like this person's hiding a few things, to be honest. Um, not even just hiding it from you, like hiding it from themselves. They're hiding certain things, about, certain aspects about themselves. This very excitable energy or this passionate energy that they have within themselves. And they're, um, they're, they're, they're suppressing it. That's what I'm getting. All right. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. This could be the one. And codependency. Okay. Yeah, there's certain things that are going on here with this person that definitely they need to work on some things because they are trying to stifle their emotions. Um, it could be a pain that they've had in the past that they didn't let go of. But they learned a lot from it. It didn't it's not causing them to move in a way that is toxic. That's the thing. It's a very complicated energy here because I feel like they are coming off emotionally mature. Um, where they're not trying to bring any drama or anything to the table. They're, they're not trying to do anybody any wrong. I feel like they have great intentions. They just have pain that they have not let go of yet is what I'm getting. Okay. Um, all right. And they try to keep that at bay. They don't want that to start bubbling up and messing up any relationship that they're in. They're very conscious of that. This person is, is coming in with a lot of preconceived notions about love. This person might be a bit older. They might be more experienced, okay? Or they just, they, they also have held on. They learned a lot from this situation. But, yeah. I bury, I bury myself in work yeah, to forget about you. This burying the self, this is not necessarily burning themselves in work. It can be that. But what I'm getting, once again, is that stifling, keeping their emotions at bay. So someone is definitely medicating, self-medicating to not really have to think about someone. All right. Um, this could be you. Uh, this could be some, this could be your ex. All right. Um, this could be someone that you're moving, that you're meeting that you're moving towards. And this is the energy that they're carrying. A very cool, calm, collected, very, uh, uh, I almost wanna say shallow, but they're, they're deep, but they're gonna give you a shallow version of themselves because they're, they're medicated. They're medicating themselves. But this person could be the one, okay? So 
This is not, everybody, we all got our issues, okay? We all got our shit. This person has great intentions, okay? I love you unconditionally. They have great intentions. It's just knowing that this person has had some experiences. Um, and lucky for you, this person has had experiences that did not make them grow cold. So, you know, a lot of people are walking around this world with with these same type of issues, but they they grow cold, you know, and they, they start acting weird towards others. They start acting toxic. This person is very aware that they do not want to be toxic. They do not want to hurt anyone. They don't, they also do not want to be hurt. Uh, they just want it to be smooth, you know, and this person might be a little bit more docile. They might come off more docile than they actually are just because they don't want the drama, but that's not the case. So with them, I would say, try to speak more to them about I don't know if you're with them or not, but if whatever, whoever this person is, um, make sure that their feelings are heard. Cause I, I feel like this person had an experience in the past where their feelings weren't heard and they probably was a pushover or got pushed over or whatever the case is. He has someone who took them for granted. Make sure that this person feels heard and they, that you're here for the equal reciprocity in this love. They'll be greatly appreciated, uh, appreciative of that ask them what their love language is do things for them because i feel like they would do that for you like they're going to ask what what is it that you like you know and do the things do the same thing for them i will wait for a sign from you i love when i saw you with someone i feel like this is just indicative of that very timid skittish energy that is not really their energy but it has become their energy because they got kind of wounded by a past and by a past relationship i look for you everywhere all right. Um, this could be a person who, um, as I mentioned, someone from the past, or this can be someone that you're running into, to be honest, and they still have this past energy that is kind of haunting them. All right. Okay. Wow. Um, I think I described this person enough where you would be able to identify um, if you meet this person, if this is someone new. Okay. Um, keep in mind, there's a, the level of codependency here. All right. Um, but it could be the one. It's just, it's going to, like everything, like every, like every, every love, every relationship, it does require work. Okay. All right. Well, enjoy. <laughs> all right, please.